Each week, I send out a newsletter to not-for-profits showing them how they can leverage AI to increase their efficiency and effectiveness within their organization. Ask them for some feedback about this newsletter and what I'm offering through nfps.ai. And I thought this is a great opportunity to show how you can analyze survey data using AI. So we're in ChatGPT. We're using their newest model, GPT-40. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach the CSV file, which is the export in a, a table format of the responses. So I've got them ready here. I'm simply going to be uploading that and, and it's going to be a really simple prompt. I'm simply going to ask for an analysis, a summary, and to identify any trends within the data. All right, so I've got, please find attached the CSV export of a survey from some subscribers to my weekly newsletter to offer profits about how to use AI. Please summarize the findings, takeaways, identify any trends and recommendations you have, prevent your, present your findings in a visually pleasing format. And uh, let's see what we get. So while this is processing, I will mention that nothing that I have uploaded is personal data. I haven't uploaded any people's names or email addresses. This is simply their responses that they have provided. So it's really important when using AI not to be uploading any sensitive, personal or confidential information. All right, so we've got a bit of a summary here with a visual inter uh, representation up above. Um, so I'm just gonna scroll up and let's actually see what we've got here. It's actually something new. Interactive charts of this not type are not supported yet. Okay, well this is, interesting um <laughs> it's uh i don't quite know what it is but um yeah i think they said that that is in beta i'm gonna download it and see what it looks like um outside of this let's actually see so yeah not great um there's a lot of stuff all over the place but um it says it's getting better so <laughs> let's see a significant portion of respondents are not currently utilizing AI. The primary barriers are lack of time, skills, and awareness. Some organizations face legal restrictions. All right, we've got necessary resources, need for time, inter internal prioritization, risk assessment uh, resources, and knowledge about AI. Online workshops are the most preferred method, learning about AI, followed by online courses. All right, broad interest, um, AI scalability, and all right, let's have a look at some of the bad. There's a clear interest in adopting AI, but significant knowledge gap and resource constraints are hindering progress. Online learning platforms are the preferred recommendations. We've got educational resources, awareness campaigns, support systems, including forums and Q&A, and legal and risk guidance. So, as you can see, I think apart from their very strange chart that was prepared before, I think it's done a really good job. You know, it, it, it takes time to go through survey results, analyze these trends, try and pick up commonalities. And as we saw, just with a simple prompt uploading it and within a couple of minutes, we've got something that we can actually use moving forward. So I think this is a, a really easy, simple use case that you can use if you've got survey data, if you've got data on your supporters, on social media or your website, you can actually upload this, ask to identify trends, summarize key findings, and I think you can might find that you get something pretty useful and valuable in a very short amount of time. As always, if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, look forward to seeing you in the next video.